Hey, it's Shantae, and I wanted to share with you all something that I recently learned about myself um, that hopefully will help all of you. I was valuing effort over effectiveness. You know, have you ever stopped to think about the difference? It's easy to think that if you do one, then the other will automatically follow. But I heard this story and learned some lessons from Seth Godin, who actually made me see a different way um, to think about effort and effectiveness. He said, effort is overrated. You know, you don't get points for effort. There's no score on the scoreboard for effort. And if you think about it, he's right. You know, if we think about the game of football, it really doesn't matter how much effort a team put in if they are not able to effectively put the ball in the end zone and score points to win. You know, it simply doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much they put into the game or the practice. Um, the score wasn't in their favor and the results of winning the game were not met. And another example he used was that suppose you had to have knee surgery and you went in to knee, you went in for knee surgery but when you came out of surgery your knee still wasn't any better you know while you might appreciate the doctor's efforts and maybe not it really doesn't matter how much effort he put in because he wasn't effective um you didn't get the desired goal of the surgery and your knee still hurts so I think this is similar, you know, many of us work so hard to help our children each day, it can sometimes feel like we're a hamster on a wheel, uh, working as hard as possible to achieve various goals, and yet still feeling like we're not achieving or making any progress. You know, so often I would feel like or I would think to myself, oh, we're not reaching goals. Um, and for me, that meant, therefore, I need to work even harder. I need to put more effort in. But that's not the case. Each of us only has 24 hours in a day. You know, effort is the wrong piece of the puzzle to work on. We need to figure out ways to be more effective. But how do we do that? We need to take time to examine our children's goals and see if we're using the most direct route to help them get there. We need to figure out the best way. Um, we need to strategize and develop everyday systems, you know, daily routines, um, the basic steps that are going to need to be taken um, that are clearly laid out. And we also need to reevaluate them as often as needed to help our children be effective which will help us achieve and them the desired results. You know, another example that we can all relate to um, raising children with special needs is, you know, say your child requires speech therapy to increase and encourage language um, to help your child talk. And the school is suggesting a half hour of speech therapy with the speech therapist once a week. Is this going to get your child the desired results you're seeking? While you appreciate the efforts given, they may not be totally effective if you don't also have a plan in place to encourage speech goals throughout the day to make the effort more effective. It happens to be what we do with our daily routines. And here's a quote that I like from John Maxwell. The secret to your success is found in your daily routines. The secret to your success is found in your daily routines. Remember, effort is overrated. Make sure you are not valuing effort over effectiveness. Thanks for being with me today, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.